Okay, I welcome you all to the two of this uh, data analytics bootcamp, which uh, we said is going to last for about three months, inshallah. Uh, today, this is our outline, uh, outlines for today's class. First of all, we are going to discuss about the recap or wrap up so of what happened yesterday, that is on the one, that's number one. Then we'll go and start uh, discussing about cell and cell designation. We'll talk about uh, CUSO in Excel, table and table border, grid lines, width and height. These are the these, uh, uh, six items that we are going to cover uh, for today. So um, let's start with number one. Uh, uh, the recap, if you can recall, yesterday we discussed about uh, the definition of data analytics. We said that uh, uh, what data analytics entails and what data analytics is all about. And also yesterday, uh, we, we did discuss about um, uh, different uh, definition of some terms. If you can recall, I talk about um, data science. I talk about data um, uh, uh, analytics. I talk about data analysis. analysis. Then we discuss about data scientist and data analyst. So these are the things that that we discussed. So uh, 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 also we move and talk about uh, uh, why you choose the data analytics career. We talk about data analytics tools and we talk about the questions that data analysis will help you to answer. Let me say this to you all, please focus more on so, uh, the, the four questions I, 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 I mentioned. I, I don't know if I can open this slide and discuss about them. I don't want us to, let me just open, if I can open this slide, I'm sorry because I, I, I want you people to focus more on uh, such uh, questions. You see this, you see these questions, uh, sorry. You see this, these four questions. These are the things that whenever you hear about data as a data analyst, uh, uh, your mindset will always try to answer this four question based on the data that you have available. Please focus more on this. Any analysis that you are going to do must answer either one of these questions or must answer all of the questions. So you should understand this. This is what you need to know. Data will always tell you what happened. Data can also tell you why did something happen. Data can also tell you what will happen. And data will help you to, 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 to create or to suggest something that can be done in order to change the feature. So you should understand this. This last four, this number four, that is the prescriptive analysis. It's after you conduct one of the above three questions, you answered one of the above three questions. That's when you have the idea to talk about the last part because it's like you went to doctor, you mentioned everything about your illness. He prescribed some medicines to you. So this is the final act action that a data analyst can do to create something that can be done using data to change the feature. Please focus more on this. That is the descriptive analysis, the analytics, the diagnostic analytics, the predictive analysis, and the prescriptive analytics. Please focus more on this. I'm not going to uh, talk about them now, but please and please focus more on this and understand it. So whenever you hear about that, Whenever you saw any data, try to have these four things in your mind. Try to have these four things in your mind. So I think after this, then we go, uh, we discuss about the Excel, then we discuss about the rules, column, the sheet and workbook and how to save Excel file. That's what we discussed uh, about yesterday, if you can recall. So uh, for today, our class, uh, uh, like I said, we are going to discuss about um, uh, cell and cell designation. So I'm going to open my uh, Excel, as you can see, so that, uh, because what we are going to discuss is something that has to do with the Excel itself. So um, the cell, oh, what is cell? In Excel, if you hear about cell, it's talking about uh, 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 this, this rectangular box inside Excel. That's what uh, cell, you see, I, I just click here, where you see this green line, this rectangle here, you see this, you see this, this, this. That's what uh, uh, cell is all about in Excel. So if you hear about cell, just it, it will come to your mind that this is cell. So whenever we say cell, this is cell, you should know this uh, as from today. If I click anywhere, 
is cell. So Excel is full of cells. That is, Excel is full of cells. So everything in Excel, all of these are cells. That's number one thing. So uh, the next thing, the cell designation. That is cell designation. This uh, cell designation is like the name of cell in Excel. Each and every cell in Excel has its own name. Even though you can see them, they are the same, this and that, you can click anywhere, but each and every one of them has its own name. What is cell designation? I'll just put it in this uh, plain English and simple English. You know what is column and you know what is row. So the intersection of column and row is what will give us the cell designation. The intersection of column and row is what will give them, which one will give us the designation of a cell. For example, now I just click here. Let me just click here. The intersection of the column and the row is the name of that particular uh, 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 cell. So let's say uh, we have uh, C5. We have C, this is the column C. I just click on this. This is column C and this is four. So C4, that's the, the cell designation of this particular cell. That's the name of this particular cell. So if I click anywhere, just know where, which column it falls under. So it falls under F, then which row it falls under 12, then you can call it F12. You can just read it from here. This is the name of the cell. You see, you see name box. You see, you will see F12 here. So you should take note of that. Whenever you click somewhere D, it will give you eight. So you should take note on this. So this is what this cell designation is all about. Take note on this because it has everything to do with a lot of things that we are going to do in the uh, next coming uh, uh, classes. So you should take note on uh, uh, this. So this is cell de the designation. So uh, 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 if you understand this cell designation, so you will know that every all the cells that we have in a cell, even though they are many, I've told you we have about uh, 100,000 columns, this 1 million rows, each and every one of them has a distinctive name. So there is no way you can have B8, 2B8. There is no way you can have 2B8. There is no way you can have 2F1 or F3. There is no way you can have such. So this is uh, more about the cell uh, designation. So uh, this is it, and we'll move forward. So after this, uh, what next in our uh, line, uh, our outline immediately after this? What next? Are you with me? I don't know if you can hear me. Yes, we can, sir. Who is this gentle zone? I don't know who is this person. OK, so. Um, uh, we are going to talk about cursor in Excel. Uh, I hope uh, you know what is cursor. I don't know. Cursor uh, uh, is this arrow that you are seeing uh, roaming around the screen. This arrow, the pointer, the one I'm using to click on things. You see this pointer that I'm using. That's what cursor is all about. So in Excel, this cursor has a lot of, uh, 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 how can I even put it? It has a lot of uh, attitude in Excel that differs. And each and every article will help you to do something in Excel. So that's what we are going to discuss. Please take note on this because there are uh, about six of them and you need to learn and understand how this uh, CUSO is in Excel. So uh, uh, number one that we are going to discuss about is that, is, is that you, you uh, uh, highlighting. We use CUSO to highlight. We use cursor to highlight. When cursor turn into this white, please take note on my cursor. You see, let me just try and make it. You see, this is the arrow. If I come uh, inside Excel and hover at the, you see, I just hover over the cells. You see, it? the way the, 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 the cursor looks like white uh, cross or white plus like this, if you can look at it, when you hold, when you hold, when you hold left click, not right click, when you hold left click and drag, it means you are highlighting the cells by doing that. So now if I hold, I didn't click, I hold and highlight. You see, I'm highlighting the cells. So we use that to highlight. So this white, when our cursor turned to this, 
it means it telling us that when we hold left click, we are going to highlight our cells. So please take note on this. The first one is to highlight. So we highlight. So let me just write it. Highlight. That's number one. So number two is to drag. Let me just write it. Is to drag. So when when you are cool, so let me just click on this cell that I wrote drag. Okay, who is talking? I don't know. Who's among those that I unmute is talking? Okay, so um, when I, you see, when I come at the end of this rectangle here, as you can see it, it turned to red. My cursor now turned to red uh, cross or red uh, plus, plus sign. So you see, it turned to that. So if I hold left click, not right click, I believe each and every one of you know what is right, 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 uh, left click and right click. So I'm talking about left click. So if you hold left click and you drag either uh, 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 horizontally or you drag it vertically, it's going to, this is what we call drag and drag duplicate what is inside the, a particular cell. So if I drag it now, it will duplicate the drag that I wrote there for me. So this is what we call drag. So you drag. When you are kuso, when you click on a particular cell and you come over at the end of it, it turns to this. Then your kuso is telling you that if you hold left click and you uh, drag it anywhere, you are dragging. So this is what you do to drag. Please take note of uh, this number two. So number three is moving. Kuso will also tell you that if you do this, you are moving a particular uh, uh, data inside a particular cell to another cell. So if you come at the center, you will see that now my cursor turns into three arrows, up, uh, maybe left and right. You will see it turns into like three arrows. So now if I hold left click by this, and I just drag it somewhere, I move this moving to another cell. So instead of it to be B3, I move it to F3. Uh, so I can hold it again. You see, I hold left click and I drag it anywhere I want. So let me just drag it back where it is. And also I can highlight this three like this. If I come at the end, at the center, middle of it like this, and I do it like this, you see, I can drag it anywhere and drop it where I want to drop it. So this is uh, among what you can do with Kuso also, that's number three. So number four, also uh, Kuso will also help you to um, uh, 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 increase the width, increase the width uh, uh, of a column, to increase the width. You see it now, if I come at the end of, I'm inside B1, if I come at the end of it, you see wh what it shows. If I hold that click and open it like this, I will open the width of the uh, column. If I drag it like this, I close the width of that. Uh, I decrease the width of the column. So that's number two, number four that you can use to increase width. You can use it to increase uh, the width like this, you see, and you can reduce it like this. So uh, Kuso also will show you that. You see this? You see this? When you come at the edge, edge of it, edge of it, at the end of it, column C, then you can drag it. When you come D, you can drag it. Also, you can increase it. You can decrease it. So all this, that's what you can do with it. And you can also use it to increase uh, uh, the height. So you can use it to increase the height. That is the height of the row, the height of the row. So if I come to, for example, two, you see this is row two. So if I come at the end of row two, you will see it will show this up and down arrow, but inside the column, it will show that is forward and backward, or uh, left and right. But now it will show you up and down. You see, it changed to up and down. Then I can do this. You see, I increase the height of the the uh, column two, uh, row two. You see, and I can increase the uh, row three. And I can, you see, you see this. You can see, you see. So I can all do this. So this is how you do it. So you use uh the 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 uh, the kuso how are the attributes of kuso in excel to increase the height of the uh, the row also and uh the next thing we can do kuso will also help you to highlight the entire range that is the entire uh column range 
or the entire row range. For example, uh, you see this black, uh, you see now if I come here and I, at the center of C, you see the cursor turn into one small black arrow, it's showing down. So if I click on this C, it means I selected all the uh, columns that are under this C column, all the rows, this one million rows of C column. So now if I, uh, 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 for example, whatever I did, it will affect all the one million rows that are under column C. So that means if I click this, I highlighted it all. So also for the row, you see, if you come to the eight, uh, center of the row, you see, it turned to one small black arrow that shows uh, uh, your, uh, to your uh, uh, right. So you see, if I click on it, you see, it, it, I click on it, it will highlight all the thousands of the columns that we have, and it will affect them all. This is how you select them all. Please take note of, uh, of, uh, of all this. So you can use it to select to select the to select the entire columns, select the entire rows. So these are the things that you can do with uh 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 uh, uh, uh Kuso. So all this has to do with how Kuso change in Excel. So as from today, I hope whenever you see a Kuso in Excel, you can say this is what you can do with that Kuso once you hold left click. All this that I have mentioned has to do with holding left click, maybe to drag forward or backward or upwards or downwards. So that's what you can do. It's only the selection, the last two that has to do with click. Just click, don't hold. All you need to do is to click. So now if I click here, I select the entire rows under column C. If I click here, I select the entire rows under column D. If I click here, I select the entire row under column E. And also if I come and click here, I select the entire columns under row four. So this is what... Uh, has to do with selecting, not uh, uh, holding uh, left click. So this is all about uh, the CUSO in uh, Microsoft uh, uh, Excel. So let's move forward. I forgot to tell you one thing, you'll be hearing some people are calling Excel spreadsheet. Please, whenever you hear about spreadsheet, I, I said I would say this, but yesterday I forgot to tell you this. Spreadsheet and Excel is, this, is, is the same. Because uh, you see this sheet that you are seeing, we talk about sheet, that was uh, called spreadsheet. So that why Google sheet also is spreadsheet because it has the same uh, interface with Microsoft Excel. So don't go somewhere and you hear about spreadsheet. You say that you, you never had the word or you don't know what is spreadsheet. So these are the spreadsheet and these are the sheets that we are discussing about. So let me move forward. It's just uh, uh, same by the way. So the next thing we are going to talk about is table and uh, table border. So I'm going to delete all this. So let's talk about the table. So in order for us to insert table, take note in Excel for you to insert table, you need to highlight the number of columns or the number of cells that you want to apply the table to. So you need to highlight them. So for example, now I want to have four columns, five rows. What I'm going to do is to highlight from A to D, then I will highlight to this. You see, I hold my left click when my cursor looks white. So I hold it and highlight this. Hold left click and you highlight it. So now if you want to do it, you can click Control T. I don't want to show you the shortcut, but you can click Control T that the shortcut of creating table. Then you click my table has border because you don't want to create new border. You want your border to remain your own border. Then you can just click OK. So that means you create a, a, a table with four columns and four rows. Uh, so that by default, because the, the row one will definitely be the, the, the header. So definitely you have uh, one table with three columns. So this is where uh, you have column one, column two, uh, row one, row two, row three. But the first one will be for the, the header. So that this is the uh, number one way. I'm just going to remove this because I don't want to uh, confuse you. But this is the... Uh, uh, easiest way, if you want to do it, you can do it by just uh, writing, uh, highlighting it and press Control T. Or you can just uh, uh, come over here under Insert, just click on Insert. So under Insert, just you click on uh, 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 Table, then click it. You see, like you did it, Table. So it will ask you the same question, like you click Control T. So if you want your border to, to Table to have its own column, then you just click My Table has border, then you click OK. This My Table has border, please take note. 
if sometimes you are given a data, the data has already has uh, 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 very, uh, columns. It already has its own columns. So you don't need to, all you need to is to click this, my border has table, because you don't want to override the existing table uh, names. That is the header of the table. You don't need to override it. So just click my border has table, then it will just uh, leave the default uh, uh, tables that you have on top of it. Uh, I don't want to talk more. Okay, let me just show you this. For example, now I want to create, let me just show you something. I have serial number. I have full name. I have um, a gender. I have state, for example. So now if I highlight it, I want to create this. So if I highlight it and I press table. So now if I said my table has border, it's not going to delete this uh this uh, so serial number full name gender and set that I already created because my table already has this uh border. But now if I come back and I let me just click Control T, I didn't click this my table has border. And if, if I press OK, it will override the serial number full name and for me and create another header for me because I didn't say my table has border. So it has a header. So now it means it will create default header for me, not the one I created for myself. So please, you should take note on that while creating table. Secondly, we are going to talk about the table border. Uh, like I said, uh, there is difference between this table that we just created and this that I'm going to show you. Sometimes if you want to create table, you don't need to click Control C to create a table. What you need to do is to cover here, come here. You are seeing my cursor. So come here. You see here where it's called bottom border. You see it, just click this down arrow. Click on it, you are seeing it. I hope you are seeing it. Just click on it. When you click on it, after you highlighted what you want to apply, where you want to apply the border, just come here and click all borders. So now you applied border on your table. So now this is the border that you apply for your table. And this is your table. Please take note on this. This is your table this is your table now you apply these uh, borders to this particular table so let me apply it again so that you will see what i did let me just click this i highlight what if let me i just want to increase it to even this so i will just click here i will just come here and click all border and that's all if i want to remove it i will highlight it all i click here and just click no border that's all i remove it from there so this is how you click uh this is what uh, tables and tables border is on about. So uh, take note, um, I will explain this to you, uh, uh, the best one to use, I will explain this today. The best one to use, the best one to use is to apply table border, not to put table. Please take note on this, is to apply double uh, table border, is to highlight and come here and say all border, not to control T and put border. Uh, the reason why I said that, if you create this table, now, for example, the entire cells designation change. This cell that you are seeing now, sorry. Now, if I just say, for example, if, okay, I don't want to compute, I don't want to start talking about formula, I don't want to start talking about uh, function and other things. But when we reach that, maybe I will talk about that because I don't want us to go out of context. I don't want us to go out of it. So let me just not confuse you. But the best one to use is to apply all border. So now I know you know how to increase the width. You know how to increase the size. You know how to this. I already told, told you how to do that. So now by default, you can try to uh, create a table and just arrange how you want the table to look like in Microsoft Excel and you highlight it. So the next thing we are going to talk about, we are going to talk about grid lines. So after you applied, what grid lines is all about is these lines. You see these uh, lines that you paid lines that you are seeing as border. You see them, they are the grid lines. And these lines that you are seeing are of no use because Excel is like Microsoft Word. The way you are seeing Microsoft Word as a clear uh, white blank sheet paper, that's how Excel is. All these uh, padded, uh, just shadow lines that you are seeing are of no use. Let me show you how it, uh, 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 it uh, how, why I said that, or why it has no effect on what you are doing. If you click on view and you click on grid lines, you, you see grid line is ticked. You see it. If I click on tick it, now you see this is how Microsoft Excel is all. This is how it looks like by default. This is how Microsoft Excel is. So now if I just highlight this, for example, let me bring back the grid lines. 
for example, let me bring back the grid lines. Let me just put it and bring them back. So now if I bring them back and I like this, let me put my border. So this is now that, that I put border. This is where when I put border inside my uh, uh, this. But now if I even if I remove the grid lines, you see, now the grid lines are gone, but but my border is still intact and my table is still intact and well functioning and is working. So now you you, you understand that there is difference between table border and grid line because grid lines are like useless. They are supportive lines. They are just like even if you are going to print anything, they will not appear because. I know many people, this grid line is what scared them about Excel. People used to get scared about grid line. So grid line is, of, don't even mind grid line. This is what you created, and this is our your border, and this is your lines, and this is your own table. All these grid lines that you are seeing are of no use. You don't even need uh, them. We'll reach where, uh, uh, we'll talk about the arrangement of uh, Excel pages if you want to print and other things. All this uh, in this bootcamp, but don't worry about that because this Excel that you are seeing, there are thousands of thousands of pages in one sheet. So don't worry about that. We say we have more than one million rows. How do you expect the page to be? One single page, A4 page. How do you expect it to be? So there are many ways to. Uh, you you are the one seeing it as as something like that, but it's uh, very easy to work uh, with. So don't worry about this. So this is all about the good lines. So the last thing we are going to talk about the width and height. Uh, this width and height that I'm going to talk, I'm just going to talk about the pixels of width and height. That's why I just put the width and height uh, inside the outline. Uh, when I talk about increasing and decreasing of width, if you can recall, I talk about if you click here, you increase it. If you click here for uh, row, you increase the height of the row. We talk about that when we are discussing the cursor in Excel. So now if you hold left click, just hold, click on left click, hold it. You see, it tells you width is 20.67. That is 193 pixel. You see? So this is the arrangement of the width. For example, now I want the gender and the state to have the same width. So now if I hold this, but this has to do, you need to master it. Now I want to maybe put it at, uh, let's say I want to make it to be, uh, uh, let's say 14, 14, 103 pixels. That is 14 uh, inches. So like this. So now I can say, for example, now I will just put this. It should be one thirty three. Okay, let me remove this. I'm not seeing it. Let me take this away. So I'll make it one thirty three. So let me just hold it. Try as much as you can. You see, to make it one thirty three. So let me just try it. Let me just move a bit. Sorry, it's very very difficult. You see, I make it this. So now this and this are the same pixel. So this is what this uh, width and I just, let me just discuss it with you, but don't worry. But it's very good for you to learn how to uh, put this pixel. But if you want to put it uh, not this way, you want to put your own way. If you want to put it, for example, now this, you want to make them not 33. For example, now it's 33, but I want to make them to be, uh, let's say, 20. So you need to click here. You can come here under format. You see format here. Just click here. You just click... Uh, this uh, column width, you see this column width, click on it, You it's 14 by default, just write 20 and press enter. So by default, it increased to 20. So now if I hold it here, it's 20. If I hold it here, it's 20. So I arrange my width. If for the height, I want the entire height to be maybe 20, maybe I can just click format, click on row, then you click 20, press enter, then the entire height, all the height will be 20 by default. So this is the width and height in Excel. That is the arrangement of the pixels of width and height. Because we don't want to see your row 3 to be like this, white, but row 4 to be like this, row 5 to be like this. So if we see that, we saw that, we will say that, ah, this machine has no idea what Excel is all about. So, uh, but if you uh, see something like this, all you need to highlight it, just highlight everything. I let them just come on, but on that format, just make it 20 so that everything will have the same height. If you want to have it, if you want it to have the same width, then you highlight it all and you give the number that you want it to be, then it will have the same width and the same height the way you want it to be. So this brings us to the end of this class. And uh, I think we only have three minutes, uh, minutes left. If you have any question, you can ask because this is where we are going to stop. Those that need to ask questions can raise their hands. If you don't have anything to ask, then I think we can call it Eddie and draw the curtain here.
Listen in. If you have questions. any questions. Okay, so you don't have any question. Anyone with question can raise There's a hand. question, sir. Okay, I can hear you. Continue, please. Ask your question. Okay, so um, for this wheat and ice that you yes. talked about, yes. um, is it that when when a um, what's it called a doctor is given to us, is it that they, that there's um, there's always one um, instructions given on how what kind of ice and what kind of wheat that we must use? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this nobody. Some of the time, nobody can tell you what to do. Is you are the one to learn how to use such. For example, now if we say if we say for example now I'm going to enter data that has to do with serial number, full name, gender, state. You know by default the column of full name should be bigger than the column of gender. You know by default that how it's supposed to look. Yes. So you are the one you are the one as a data uh, a collector. You are entering data because I told you that we are going to learn different different skills as we are doing this. So you are the one to arrange your table to make your table look like. Don't worry about uh, customization of table because it's one of uh, the first outline of tomorrow's uh, class. We are going to learn how to customize table from A to Z to make our table looks perfect and intact. We are going to talk about that. But now I'm just trying to show you how to use the height and the width. So for the customization of table and everything before you even start entering the data, it's something that we are going to treat tomorrow fully. Don't worry about that. Okay, Ms. Bau, you can ask your question. Ms. Bau, you only have one minute left. Ms. Bau, Jibril, unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. Let me see. Hello, sir. If you have a question, please raise Hello, your sir. hand. Raise your hand. I can hear you, Ms. Bau. Hello. Continue. Using uh, inside, I design my team at the column. I I We can't hear you. You we can't hear you. Your speaker is a kind of uh, crumbling. I don't know why. We can't hear you. We can't hear Hello, you. Sir. I'm I'm having a little problem. Okay, I would. Okay, say it. I says, uh, okay, Ibrahim Baba. Oh, I think, I think, I think in five minutes we should come back for question and answer. I think in five minutes, let's just uh, in five minutes, let's just wait uh, for five minutes to maybe to elapse. In five minutes, we'll resume for question and answer. I think that's better because it's okay. uh, the time will expire just now. We'll come back in five minutes. That is, uh, in 45 in 21 45 9 45 let's come back in five minutes use the same link and rejoin we'll come back so that i will respond to the questions i see a lot of you you have questions so let's come back in five minutes okay in five minutes <laughs> 